Hello, it's Todd from Vermont Wine Media coming at you from the cellar where we're actually doing some cellar work tonight. Although this is really easy work. Um, we've had a bunch of Chilean juice going since the springtime, Chardonnay and Viognier, and uh, it's been pretty much riding smoothly along. It's been going through a slow malolactic fermentation, but I don't want it to go through a full malolactic fermentation. This is we're hoping to keep this a kind of a sprightly wine. Um, so what we did is we blended it all and put it in a couple demi johns up on the porch, and it's gotten cold enough so that it's going to slow down. Well, we hit it with some sulfites, very moderate amount, um, to protect it, but also to inhibit the malolactic bacteria. And then we're chilling it, which should also inhibit that bacteria, and will also get make some bitartrate crystals fall out and help to settle any of the uh, particulate matter that's floating around some of the fine leaves. We kept uh, the jugs on fine leaves. So anyways, where this is going is we made all the, the, all that action happen and the demijohns that the wine is in has headspace, which is not good. That means that there's oxygen sitting on top of it. I hit it with some gas, but that's not going to completely protect it. And the best way to protect a wine that needs to sit like that is to make sure there's as little oxygen as possible. So by my estimation, it looks like there's probably about a bottle each short. And so generally what you do is if you've got topping up wine from the same batch, you, in a smaller jug, you use that. But this is everything we've got. So I need to add some commercial wine to, to complete it. And you generally want to add something that's that's similar to what you're doing. So um, what I did is I made a quick stop today and picked up a couple of wines that I thought might be satisfactory and I've tasted them in there quickly and they're they're fine and they should they should fit the mix and um, I thought we'd give them a shot here. These are both inexpensive Chardonnays because you don't want to go spending top dollar. I mean you don't want to put junk in but you don't want to spend top dollar on wine trying to blend it in. You can't make a mediocre wine great by adding great wine to it. It doesn't work like that. You, you might not harm it, but um, you can definitely make wine not as good by putting bad wine in it. So I wanted to find something that was well made, balanced, and wasn't going to stick out at all. And so here we have... 